And what happens, some of you saw the movie? Okay, so there's a scene in the movie where Nash and his friends are sitting in a bar after class blowing off steam, and in walks a group of girls, one blonde and four or five brunettes. So Nash's classmates immediately start plotting how they're going to get the attention of the blonde. Okay, well what happens? If they all go after the blonde, Nash, which is their own best interest, Nash realizes that they will all trip over each other, they'll all look like idiots, the blonde won't want anything to do with any of them, and then by the time they turn their attention to the brunettes, the brunettes are going to be like, not interesting, right? So his point is that in understanding how to win a date, what you have to try to figure out is what's everybody else playing this game going to do? And as a result, what should I do? What's my best move? There are a lot of game theory concepts that are familiar to you, and you use game theory in your everyday life, whether you recognize it or not. Um, this is a, a story that faculty like to tell, an urban legend. Two guys uh, leave town for a weekend, have a little too much fun, find themselves late getting back to class for a test. So they email the professor and say, we had a flat tire, we're going to be late, can we take a makeup? The professor, as I'm sure was your experience at Georgia Tech, could not have been more accommodating, more willing to help, more flexible, <laughs> and said, uh, of course we take a makeup test. Uh, just come to my office at this time. So the two show up at the office. He puts one in each of two rooms and gives them the test. First question, 10 points, pretty easy. They're feeling pretty good. They turn the page. Next question, 90 points, which tie? Okay? <laughs> so, the coordination problem. Okay? It's a coordination problem. If they'd had a chance to get their act together, they would have been able to coordinate stories and do well on the test. The professor made sure that they didn't. Okay? And as a result, their likelihood of doing well is not too high. There's some baseball fans. Um, what's the big difference between baseball and the American League and the National League? The designated hitter rule. And what does the designated hitter rule mean about pitchers? They don't hit. They don't go up to bat. Okay, I should say it that way. They don't go up to bat. In which league do you think batters get hit more often by pitchers? <laughs> the American League, right? There's no moral hazard. The pitcher knows that he's not going to go up and face retribution for throwing at somebody instead of throwing to somebody. Okay? No example of moral hazard. Traffic is a great one. If most of you are, I would imagine, are from Atlanta. It's a great one to use to talk about information asymmetries. Some of you probably get little alerts, text alerts on your Blackberry and all that. It'll let you know if there's a wreck. If you're the only one that gets the information about the wreck, isn't that great? Because you're the only one that's on that smaller road, right? What happens when everyone gets that alert? Now everyone is on the smaller road. And you're worse off than you would have been if you'd stuck on I-75 or I-85, right? So it's a situation where there was, you can use an info, information asymmetry to your advantage. I don't think I have to talk about this one. <laughs> okay? For the record, it's a non-sports example. Right? <laughs> right? So as, as people are dating, they tend to manipulate information to try to keep that other person around as long as possible. Companies play game theory too. A patent race is really an example of a zero-sum game, right? If you're second to the patent office, what do you win? Absolutely nothing. The only person that wins is the person that's there first. A lot of your job searches are zero-sum at the end, right? The first person that, that's ready for that job is, is the one that's going to end up getting it. And then employee drug testing, we talked a little bit about. If your company says we're going to drug test you on the anniversary of your date of hire, who's going to fail a drug test? Somebody really dumb, right? <laughs> you, you should have had other clues that maybe they weren't a great employee, right? So the only way for that strategy to work is for them to mix strategies. Okay, so there's lots of that game theory that you guys use all the time.